okay so let's start this uh, session uh, in this uh, video i'm going to explain uh, you that how you can do some basic signal processing on captured audio signals in matlab so let's first see the contents uh, first i will show you the basic filtering that how you can uh, implement the low pass fir filter uh, to remove uh, a wide gaussian noise uh, in an audio signal uh, then i will show you the graphic equalizer for 10 band frequencies and then i will show you the echo effect how you can give the echo effect in audio signal and then flange effect and followed by the river effect so let's see uh, these uh, processing uh, one by one uh, before uh, going ahead i recommend you to watch my previous two videos uh, where i have uh, explain that how you can record audio signals using MATLAB and Simulink. So the links are given in the description. So let's start. Uh, in uh, low pass filtering, uh, uh, we are assuming that our no uh, signal, audio signal is corrupted by the white Gaussian noise. And uh, this wise, white Gaussian noise will be uh, reduced by this uh, FIR low pass filter. So let's see the MATLAB code. Uh, this is the MATLAB code. Here you can see uh, the first command will, uh, when executed, uh, UI get file, your, a system dialog uh, box will appear where you can choose your audio input file. Uh, when audio read command is executed, the all audio samples will come in the variable X and the sampling rate will come in FS. So here, uh, these are few uh, filter attributes such as uh, sampling frequency, and uh, pass band edge frequency, stop band edge frequency, pass band and stop band ripples in dB. Uh, here I have taken the uh, pass band frequency uh, 8 kilohertz and the stop band edge frequency the 8.4 kilohertz. Uh, now let, let us design the filter. Uh, to design the low pass filter, the design filter uh, uh, command uh, function is used. Uh, all these uh, uh, filter attributes are passed in this uh, function. Once this is executed, you will get the DF filter uh, object. And uh, uh, to check whether the filter is realized uh, correctly or not, you can uh, execute this FV tool uh, to show the frequency response of the filter. Now, uh, the X is my original signal. So to uh, uh, make it uh, corrupt, corrupted by the noise, uh, let me add the uh, Gaussian noise by the function AWGN. So by the AWGN, I can add the white Gaussian noise to my original signal XN. So XN is a, uh, my corrupted or noisy signal. So 15 here is actually the SNR signal to noise ratio. Uh, the more of uh, its value means uh, the less noise is added. And if, it, if its value is less, then means more noise is added. So let me now uh, filter my noisy signal X and by this filter command. So in this filter uh, function, I pass this uh, noisy signal and the filter object DF. So the denoised or filtered uh, samples uh, are stored in variable Y. These are actually the uh, commands to uh, plot your original signal, noisy signal and the filtered signal. So let's see uh, how this can be implemented in MATLAB. Uh, actually, I have written this program already in the MATLAB. Uh, just I will press this run button to execute it. Okay. So the system dialog box appears to choose my audio file. Here I am choosing, let's say this is the guitar. It's a wave file of uh, 13 seconds. I choose it, open. And okay, uh, here you can see uh, this is the filter response. You can see uh, frequency response. So it is a low pass filter. And uh, uh, these are few waveforms uh, which I have plotted. This is original signal, noisy signal and filtered signal. You can see clearly the difference that how uh, noise is reduced in the uh, this output. Okay. Uh, instead of plotting the full signal, I have plotted just first uh, 450 samples to show you the clear waveform view. The Waveforms are showing the filtering process clearly. Uh, the best way is uh, to uh, listen the music. 
So uh, let us uh, listen uh, the noisy signal as well as the filtered signal. So that will give the clear picture. So for that I will execute the sound command uh, which I have already explained in my previous videos. So I am executing the sound command. Okay, uh, uh, this is my uh, noisy signal. Uh, you can see the background hissing sound because of the uh, Gaussian noise. And uh, let me uh, hear uh, the denoised, uh, I mean the filtered output. So executing for Y. Okay, uh, uh, this was the uh, filtered output Y. So you can see the clear difference that uh, that background uh, noise is uh, significantly reduced. Uh, by this basic filtering, you cannot 100% uh, uh, remove the noise, you can reduce it. But at the same time, uh, you can see that there is a slight uh, uh, degradation in the quality of uh, uh, output because uh, in frequency selective filtering, uh, the a high frequency component after 8 kilohertz uh, is also cut from the uh, signal also. So that means you are losing some uh, information from the signal also. Uh, that is why the basic filtering uh, is not uh, preferred for, uh, uh, I mean uh, this uh, frequency selective filtering is not preferred uh, for audio signals. Uh, the more powerful uh, is actually the uh, wavelength based filtering. So that will I will explain in the coming videos. Uh, the there is another way to implement filter uh, also I can explain you and that is the ha uh, with help of uh, filter designer command if you do not want to use uh, uh, the design field function the filter designer is uh, another very uh, uh, important utility to design the filter Okay, so this is filter designer uh, utility. Uh, here you can select your filter like low pass, high pass, and uh, uh, you can select whether it is IIR or FIR. Here I have chosen FIR equipable type, and then uh, specify all the frequency specifications here. I mean, uh, uh, your pass band edge and stop band edge frequencies. So, sampling frequency, let's say it is 48 kilohertz. Uh, pass band as frequency is uh, 9600 and this uh, I am choosing let us say 10,000 hertz, 10 kilohertz and this is, and this is uh, here you can select your pass band and uh, stop band ripple. So 1 dB and let us say this is uh, uh, 95 dB. So just by pressing this design filter, your filter will be realized. Okay, so here you can see that uh, frequency response of your uh, desired filter. Uh, if you want to use it to, to denoise your signal, uh, it is easy. Just go to the file and go to the export. Press the export. Uh, here, uh, uh, export to workspace. Yes, you select uh, to workspace. Export as instead of coefficient, uh, you select objects and uh, the discrete filter, the name of that variable will be the HD. That means in your workspace, you will find the HD variable uh, which will include your filter. So just uh, pressing this export. Okay, it's done. Let me close it. No. Okay, now see uh, where is your filter. So yes, this uh, in workspace, you can see that uh, HD variable is created. So you can filter your noisy signal with this uh, HD variable. So let me see that uh, Y uh, HD is the output and the same filter command will be used HD comma and my noisy signal XM. Okay, so it is uh, denoised. Uh, I can uh, uh, listen this uh, variable by this uh, sound command uh, Y HD and then sampling frequency fs
okay so you can see that uh, this is another way to implement uh, your low pass filter or you can implement any filter uh, depending on the desired effects you can implement high pass band pass low pass or to remove a particular frequency you can implement the notch filter etc now uh, come to the second content uh, the second uh, content is uh, the graphic equalizer uh, i hope all of you are aware with this uh, whenever you play the song in your uh, music player uh, it may be a software based or hardware based you will definitely find uh, such type of uh, uh, equalizer where you can uh, produce uh, a lot of sound effects such as rock pop jazz vocal etc just by uh, sliding uh, up and down these uh, frequencies so sliding up and down means that means you are boosting uh, the gain of a particular frequency or sliding down means uh, you are suppressing the gain of a particular frequency so by uh, having a particular pattern you can uh, create uh, any desired effect so in MATLAB uh, uh, actually I have not written uh, the program exactly to implement the graphic equalizer uh, because MATLAB has already given uh, the facility to implement it uh, by the uh, their inbuilt function. So these are uh, 10 frequencies 32, 64 and till 16k and total again you can vary from uh, 0 to plus 20 dB or minus 20 dB in MATLAB. Uh, also uh, MATLAB offers, offers you to uh, uh, use either parallel or cascade structure or uh, uh, it has a facility to uh, choose the bandwidth. Uh, generally, the default is a one octave. You can choose different also. So this is the MATLAB program for equalizer. Uh, here I have you uh, implemented this in real time. Real time means uh, uh, you just connect your mobile phone, play the song in mobile phone, and connect mobile phone with uh, uh, to your laptop uh, with the audio cable and uh, this effect will be implemented uh, uh, in real time at that same moment so for that i have uh, initialized the device reader audio device reader uh, where uh, i'm using my line input you can see that line in real tech high definition audio uh, this is in uh, my case uh, in your laptop it may be uh, different hardware that how to choose that uh, uh, hardware i will show you in at the command prompt uh, you define the samples per frame and uh, uh, sample rate. Then uh, to play the song, uh, uh, I define this audio device writer uh, for that at the same sample rate, which is used uh, during capturing. And then uh, this is uh, the command equalizer equal to graphic EQ. Uh, this is the MATLAB inbuilt function to implement the graphic equalizer, where you will define the bandwidth, which I have taken one octave. And the structure of the graphic equalizer, the parallel, just means a lot of parallel uh, filters are implemented, and then sample rate. And uh, this line, equalizer dot gains, actually, this is the main uh, line uh, which is uh, simulating your desired effect. So here, the values uh, 4, 4.2, 4.6, 2.7, etc. Actually, uh, these are the uh, the position of the slider. That means 4 means uh, the first frequency which is 32 kilohertz is boosted by the 4 dB and minus uh, 3.7 this one uh, it means it uh, the slider goes down that means your frequency is suppressed by the minus 3.7 uh, 3 dB so by giving uh, these effects uh, sorry these uh, uh, gain values you can simulate uh, uh, lots of uh, music effects and uh, uh, if you want to uh, visualize the equalizer, uh, you can visualize the frequency response of equalizer. And then uh, for, uh, I have used the while loop uh, to do this uh, real time job uh, for 30 seconds. Uh, here you can see that uh, device reader uh, is reading all the input samples and putting in the variable in. And uh, all in these input variables are going into the equalizer function where the effects are added and then all uh, treated uh, samples are uh, put in uh, out variable and this out variable is going to this device rider to play using your laptop speakers. Uh, uh, there is a cleanup 
actually after simulating it uh, we are releasing all these uh, ports so let's see uh, what happens uh, in the matlab so this program i have already written so let me execute it so before it i have uh, already connected my mobile uh, through the line in port and uh, via audio cable i am just starting uh, this program so pressing this run button and So uh, here you can uh, uh, listen uh, your song in real time uh, using this uh, this equalizer gains. Okay, uh, let me show you that uh, how you can get the information about your line in port. Uh, to get the information, you have to uh, execute this uh, command uh, dec dot get devices. So when you execute this, uh, you can see uh, the list of uh, your audio input and output in your laptop so here uh, you can see that uh, audio zero which is direct sound uh, line in uh, real tech high definition audio so that's why uh, in the code i wrote this line in uh, real tech high definition audio as it is so uh, in uh, your case in your laptop it may be a uh, different so by executing this deck command you can get that information and you can change this line uh, into your in your laptop okay so let me uh, come to uh, the next effect uh, which is uh, the echo echo very uh, famous very popular effect uh, uh, in audio signals so generally whenever uh, you speak in mic or you sing a song generally echo are added uh, to give good effect uh, this is the scheme you can see uh, that how it is added uh, see the dif difference equation that output yn is uh, uh, input plus uh, uh, some gain a multiplied with the delayed input so you can see in this uh, diagram that uh, input uh, is added with its uh, delayed version here gain is specifies actually that uh, how much uh, depth of gain uh, you require so in MATLAB, I have just implemented this difference equation. So let's see how it is added. Okay, this is uh, the program. Uh, again, uh, by executing UI get file, I will select my audio file. And after, uh, by audio read uh, function, all the samples will come in X and the sample rate will come in FS. So N is uh, actually finding the length of that uh, 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 captured audio. Uh, the gain I am taking uh, 0.8 and the delay I am taking 2000. So that means the delayed uh, input stream uh, will be added to the actual uh, signal. So let me uh, run this uh, program and let's see how delay echo effect works. So in MATLAB, this program is already written, just executing it. Uh, let me select uh, the speech. This is another audio file of 9 second length. Open. Okay, it is uh, executed. Let me go to the MATLAB window to listen the sound. Okay, uh, the output is in variable Y. So, let me uh, write the sound command to listen the variable Y with sample sampling rate FS. So listen carefully. Uh, okay, uh, first uh, let me uh, listen the original uh, sound, uh, original sound which is X. Then uh, I will show you uh, uh, the echo effect. So listen, this is this is original. The discrete Fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric. The discrete Fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric. Okay, this is real one. Now uh, listen the uh, audio stream with echo. The, the discrete, discrete Fourier, Fourier transform of a real value signal is conjugate symmetric. The discrete Fourier transform of a real value signal is conjugate symmetric. 
Okay, fine. So you can uh, listen uh, the clear difference between the original and the sound with the echo. Okay, so echo is simulated. Uh, let's see uh, the another effect. Uh, it is the flange effect, another uh, very popular effect for uh, music lovers. Uh, here, uh, if I compare the difference equation, uh, this uh, y equal to xn plus a x n minus d n with the eco one, you can clearly see the difference. In eco, the equation was almost same. Uh, in place of d n, there was only the d. So uh, in eco the delay was constant but here in flange this in, in place of constant delay this delay is the variable delay so flange effect is simulated by giving the variable delay uh, to your music stream so and how this uh, variable delay is created this variable delay in flange effect is created uh, using a low frequency sine wave so that means so uh, in place of constant delay d now i have a delay which is varying uh, in uh, according to the shape of sign that means it is uh, uh, in it increases and then it decreases uh, as per the shape of a sine wave again uh, here uh, again you, know, you can adjust the effect or depth of his, uh, its uh, uh, effect uh, so let's see the program uh, this is the program uh, first again the first command will execute to uh, select the audio file then by audio read, your all samples will go in X and sample rate in FS. Again, uh, uh, then TN uh, uh, is actually uh, finding the length of uh, uh, the signal in time, in seconds. Uh, this F equal to 0.25, you can see uh, this is the frequency of that uh, sine wave according to which I am giving, producing the variable delay. So, uh, uh, this D is 100, the delay factor is 100 and here in mod thin uh, you can see that uh, that uh, uh, low frequency sine wave is created. And uh, then delays are created by this command round D uh, multiplied with the mod sin and plus D. Uh, this wave, uh, low frequency sine wave is also shifted up uh, to create uh, all positive delays. Okay and uh, by after initializing uh, the output and having the attenuation factor 0.5 uh, just having some code uh, that uh, you know, difference equation is uh, simulated here so let's see how the flange effect works in matlab so this is the program executing it okay so uh, let me select uh, file some audio a uh, drum loop for this i am selecting this uh, drum loop which is a 11 second mp3 file open it and it is executed so let us listen this uh, into the matlab uh, in matlab uh, first let us uh, listen the original sound then uh, later uh, we will listen the flange sound with the flange effect so for original execute uh, sound xfs okay this this was the original one and now listen uh, the sound clip with the uh, flange effect so the output is in y now listen with flange Okay, so you can uh, have the clear difference of uh, original sound clip and the sound clip with the flange effect. Uh, here, uh, uh, you could listen uh, that uh, uh, variation uh, in the sound uh, uh, as per that very low frequency sine wave. Okay, so let's move to the next effect. Uh, uh, this is uh, the reverberation. Uh, here, uh, uh, the signal xn is added with the 
uh, a delayed version which we are getting with a feedback so the action is delayed by a constant delay and then it is uh, uh, fed back and added to the mainstream to get the output so let's see the matlab code actually uh, I, here i have not written uh, you know, the program uh, because matlab has already uh, given the reverb function so i have used that inbuilt function so again i am uh, uh, using this into uh, in real time so for uh, real time i have uh, uh, declared here uh, the audio device reader and audio device writer as writer as explained uh, in case of uh, equalizer uh, this is the function uh, reverb equal to reverberator this is matlab input function and uh, here uh, there are various parameters here i have used two uh, there are uh, uh, four or five other parameters to uh, implement our desired effect uh, here i'm using that pre-delay uh, as 0.5 and wet to dry mix uh, uh, again 0.5 wet to dry mix that means uh, the original signal and then uh, which is uh, added with the uh, delayed function delayed signal and uh, again i am uh, doing the simulation for 30 seconds and then releasing all those ports of laptop let me execute this in matlab so this is matlab uh, reverb function so i'm executing it but before executing it since it is in real time and so before executing it connect your mobile phone uh, play the song and uh, then I, then execute it <clears throat> so let me execute it Okay, uh, this uh, uh, you could listen uh, that uh, uh, this effect actually created a stadium like uh, environment. Actually, you know uh, what is reverb? Uh, reverb actually uh, is creating some environment such as creating uh, uh, f uh, make you feel that your song is being played uh, in a room or in a uh, pub or in a stadium sort of thing. So here I have simulated that uh, your song is being played uh, in a open stadium. So you can clearly uh, listen to uh, this effect. Uh, the better uh, you can listen if you use your earphone uh, in this case. Okay, uh, so this is for uh, now. Thank you.